hello welcome back to modular classroom today we are going to see how a game changing tool for researchers called as connected papers which suits perfectly for the literature review and it helps to spot the research gaps quickly so if you are a research scholar phd scholar or a researcher or a student who involve in research this tool is going to help you a lot so it is a free web tool which helps you to visualize the relationship between the academic papers instead of just showing the citations it build a network of similar works so it helps you very much when you are starting a literature review or trying to identify the under researched areas so first step is to enter into connectedpapers.com and step 2 we can enter a uh, doi or a title of the paper or you can enter the keyword for example now i am going to enter deep learning for plant disease reduction deep learning or also you can take the suggestions which it is giving deep learning for plant disease reduction then step 3 build a graph again step 1 connectedpapers.com step 2 you have to give a title or doi third you have to build a graph and now you can find a wonderful graph is being developed here the papers are arranged according to their similarity this is not a citation tree it is a similarity tree so here you can uh, see the center node which we have uh, entered in the text so there are few papers or there are no papers where there are no connection which indicates the underexplored topics but uh, here may be light connections exist where you can combine some ideas uh, or some uh, relationship exist you can also look into the list view from list view you can see the title of the paper the author of the paper the year of publication the number of citations the references and the last is very important which is similarity to origin so 100% similarity there is some paper which we have given in the origin center there are 32 37 27 25 and at the last there are 19 17 16 percentage similar there are no papers in the graph which is zero percent similarity again you can go back to this graph so when you click a particular node you can at the right side you can find the paper of uh, that particular node where and also you can there which this particular paper received 3003 citations and when you click uh, when you uh, just move your cursor around there you can find the pdf of the paper uh, you can find the paper with code semantic scholar the doi uh, google scholar pubmed etc for example if i am clicking on the semantic scholar that particular paper semantic scholar uh, will get will be opened you can take the semantic scholar of that particular paper and uh, you can also look into when there are uh, similar uh, when there are no much strong connections between the two paper you can say that the, they are not similar so they are to be explored so we can identify the research gap this is this uh, this wonderful tool helps us in identifying the research gap uh, much and uh, we can also go for some uh, this google scholar and semantic scholar and compare the two graphs or two to three base papers to find the unique insights now you can find the paper which is opened in the semantic scholar so hope this particular uh, topic will be very useful this tool will be very useful for your uh, research productivity and uh, we can also come across with other research topics in the future videos and keep on watching stay tuned subscribe thanks for watching thank you